economist Vivek Chand Segal, the chairman at Mother Sumi, joins in on the show right now to talk about how their quarterly performance was and what they envision for the quarters ahead. Mr. Segal, you highlighted in your earnings release that supply side disruptions and COVID restrictions impacted the production in key markets like Europe as well as China. Help us understand what's the situation currently on ground. So, uh, the result is in front of you. Uh, definitely, there are tremendous amount of challenges. And uh, the uh, problem is that the challenges are only getting tougher in the coming time. So, in the circumstances at the moment, the company did its best uh, trying to mitigate these particular rising challenges, uh, try to bring some semblance by putting tremendous amount of effort in cost control and, uh, you know, a little bit of increase in inventory and things like that. They tried to mitigate these particular uh, uh, challenges that came. Uh, I think uh, the situation at the moment is still dynamic because um, of the uh, uh, issues that are there, the war situation in the European side. Uh, so some uh, particular uh, countries are in a uh, little bit of a hot spot. I mean, just think about it. The energy costs have gone from 10x. And freight costs have gone from 7, 8x. Inflation is a huge problem. Uh, just for an example, you know, the uh, country like Mexico, the, uh, the wage costs have gone up almost about 22, 24%. So we are facing these particular uh, things over there. But on the flip side is also there are some great uh, uh, stories like uh, India and America to some extent. Uh, you are seeing that there is green shoots and there are very good uh, results. Uh, I think uh, work in progress is the best way I can describe uh, our, uh, our performance for this year. And even now, as we speak, the improvements on the uh, recoveries and all that will happen in the coming one to quarters, which are coming up ahead. So, uh, yeah, we have to take the brunt of it and uh, uh, hold on to the fort. And uh, basically, in the coming one or two weeks, uh, sorry, one or two quarters, you will start to see recoveries also happening. So, I think uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel. And um, uh, the board is absolutely giving compliments to the people that under such tough circumstances, they have delivered a profitable uh, kind of a story. Sure. But tell me, your PKC business has shown improvement on a sequential basis. But earlier, you highlighted that there are some challenges there as well. What's helping the recovery and how is it that you see uh, this moving ahead? Actually, PKC is given uh, much better this thing than, uh, uh, than um, the last quarter. So I think if you see their uh, quarter and quarter revenues are up, uh, the EBITDA is up, and uh, PPT and all that, everything has come back, almost coming back to the pre-last uh, uh, quarter situation. So uh, we are, in fact, uh, rather pleased that uh, PKC is working. The customers have also understood. And then, you know, the uh, situation, because a lot of the other wiring hunts, Pakistan doesn't have any plants in Ukraine, but the other wiring harness suppliers actually have a lot of uh, uh, focus on production in Ukraine. So a lot of things are happening in favor of Mother Sun is that, that we are going to get more orders, we're going to get more uh, opportunities. So I'm uh, rather pleased about PKC. PKC has been uh, uh, luckily saved from this particular thing. So the margins and everything, sales and everything is going better and better. Mr. Segal, morning. We're also seeing the outlook on your EV order book building up quite well. What's the target for FY23 and which markets do you think are being the most supportive? Uh, that's where the, uh, 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 the good news is. Uh, actually, our order book has gone up uh, to now 16.1 billion, if I'm not wrong. And uh, the EV percentage has gone up to almost about uh, a quarter of that. So within the next three to five years, uh, EV will start to become something like almost a fourth of the order book. So uh, at this moment, it's about 4%, um, which has improved from 3.4% to 4%. Um, 
the guidance we had given six months ago was about 15.6. The startup production is about 4.2 billion. New order is about 4.7. So the new order book stands at 16.1 billion. And what about the situation when it comes to the semiconductors in Europe as well as back home? Look, we felt that by September, October this year, maybe uh, the semiconductor issue would be conquered. But I think uh, there are some new challenges that have been thrown in uh, with the uh, uh, war situation, which is there. But also, otherwise, uh, 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 we are thinking maybe it might get delayed by one more, one quarter more. So maybe December, Jan might be the right time by which we can see some amount of relief coming in. But the good news is that almost every day, the situation is getting better and better and better. So uh, I'm, I'm very hopeful. You know, I'm a very optimist person. So <laughs> I'm thinking September, but in the worst days, maybe December. <laughs> Uh, we're going to leave it at that. Uh, many thanks for joining us uh, live today and hope the next time you're in India and uh, we can actually do an, a shoot with you on the floor of the factory in Noida. Many thanks for joining us live today.